Well, the night began just like Jeter's career ended. Derek Jeter chants reverberating here at Hamilton College. The more than 5,000 people attending, braving all those snowy conditions to see the captain, number two, Derek Jeter, who said even he wasn't sure at times if he'd make it here at Hamilton College. His plane landed at 4.30 this evening. Yeah, that weather. <laughs> you know, like I was saying before, we almost didn't make it, man. So me and Harold were praying on the plane coming up here. And he said he played here, and he has some memories in Albany. You know, I understand a lot of Yankee fans up here in, in, in this area. And I've, I've met a lot of people throughout the years saying that they're from Albany, and uh, they saw me play. So there was a lot of uh, support when I was here for that short period of time. We're extremely close. And as has been a theme these past few months since his retirement, he's been more open. He told me that he's been more open just because people are asking him different questions. They're not asking him if he went 0 for 4 every night. And he shared some of those moments tonight on the stage as well. 13 brothers and sisters, so my grandmother was a huge Yankee fan, and, and I used to sit up at night and watch Yankee games with her. That's why I became a Yankee fan. And it was a really a comfortable, relaxed atmosphere, too. You can see Jeter, he was in his element. He was going back and forth with Harold a little bit. At one point, Jeter asked if his button was right on his coat on stage, and a woman from one of the back rows yelled, take it off, Derek. So I'm sure he's gotten that quite a bit in his career as well. Definitely some great laughs out here tonight. Harold would like to walk from the corner of the stage back to his chair. Please give him an applause, because he can wonder how big of an applause he would get. <laughs> <laughs> And he said the hit he had in his last home game ever at Yankee Stadium was a perfect way to end his career. But as for his next venture, he says his dream at this point now is to own a team and call all the shots so he can really put his hands on something else. In addition to his turn two foundation, which he's working very hard at as well in this part of his career where he's retired and not playing baseball anymore. But from a great night here at Hamilton College, I'm Tom Eschen.